Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another donation unboxing video. I will be opening everything I received in the month of October 2019, and we got some stuff. Thank you to everyone who sent stuff in. I want to remind everyone, you should never feel obligated to send things to me. Uh, I do not ask for donations. I appreciate it when you do send things in, and a lot of you guys have sent things that have been very helpful uh, to me and the channel. But never feel like you have to send anything. Uh, if you do want to send something, the address will be on your screen now. Uh, and if I get anything next month, I will do another unboxing video like this one. This is a good time to remind everyone that Timmer's Charity Drive is going on. At the time you see this, it should be going on right now. Timmer from the YouTube show Half the Battle does a charity drive every year. To participate, all you have to do is donate to a charity that benefits children and send proof of your donation to the email address that you see on the screen right now. You can blank out your personal information, but just make sure you include the amount. Uh, and if you donate, you'll be entered in a drawing. And at the end of the month, Timmer will draw a name and you will get some special prizes. I'm donating one of the prizes too. We're hoping to raise $1,000 for children this year. And as we hit certain target amounts, you will get some special videos. And now it is time to open the stuff that you sent in. I've already cut open the boxes and the envelopes to make it easier for me to pull the things out, but I have not looked in here, so I don't know what any of this stuff is. We have a couple envelopes and I'm gonna start with those. Uh, I'm gonna start with this orange one here, by Tim Bentley. So let's see what Tim sent. Uh, it's a card. It's a card. Oh, <laughs> at the front of the card says, boo yeah. Um, and oh, and things are coming out. Uh, oh, there's stuff in the card. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, yeah, Tim uh, is a cosplayer and he has included some cards of his uh, cosplay here. Uh, that's cool. So I, this particular card, or these cards, show him in, it looks like a rebel soldier from Star Wars. Um, and uh, and a, a card here for uh, the real Pittsburgh Ghostbusters. So cool. And the card says, um, Dear Brian, a.k.a. HCC788, thanks uh, for adding me on Facebook. You're welcome. Uh, here are some cards. Please enjoy them. Sorry, I wish it was more keeping the show going. Your friend Tim Bentley. Happy Halloween to you and family. You never have to apologize for sending anything to me. It never has to be more. Uh, so thanks. That's really cool. It's a, it's a Halloween card, and um, at, at the time I'm recording this, we just uh, had Halloween. So uh, good timing, uh, and thank you for the card, and thank you for these cards. This is really cool. It's really... Uh, a nice um, Endor uh, Rebel Trooper cosplay as well. Uh, thank you very much, Tim. I am keeping this uh, with all of the other mail that I get. Uh, every letter that you send to me, I do keep. Uh, and now I'm keeping it in this uh, new fancy uh, fan mail uh, holder here. So I'm going to make sure to keep Tim's card. Uh, along with everything else that is sent to me. Thank you, Tim. Uh, and perhaps uh, this envelope here from Christopher Kit Meyer uh, has a letter in it as well. Let's see. Um, I do see, ah, uh, hmm, a flash drive. Let's, that's interesting. Uh, wonder what's on it. Top secret information, perhaps. Um, Okay, uh, this is a letter. It says, HCC788, how, uh, how you been doing of late? I've been doing fine of late, thank you. Also, thank you for typing this in a large enough font that I can read it without my glasses. Much appreciated. And Tim as well, didn't require the glasses to read it. Very well done. Uh, I hope you have Windows on your computer because in close you will find a flash drive that it contains the tech specs of the G.I. Joe slash Cobra vehicles and sets I currently have. Cool. Uh, I've sent you a couple before. Ah, yes, he has sent me a couple of those before. Um, but here, uh, this here is the whole shoot and match. So all of them here. Uh, I live in Texas like Wild Bill. Uh, wasn't happy with Marvel Comics Order of Battle uh, denomination. Uh, so designed my own. Yeah, um, now Order of Battle does have a lot of uh, specifications on G.I. Joe vehicles. But, you know, where did they get that information? I don't think it always necessarily jibes with um, 
other areas of G.I. Joe and their portrayal in different forms of media. Uh, Order of Battle is still pretty cool, but he does make a good point here that um, maybe it's not perfect, so he, he did his own. Uh, this is what I was expecting Marvel to uh, initially give us. Enjoy, uh, and as always, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. Well, thank you, Christopher. I am going to check this out. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, I've never gotten uh, secret information on a flash drive before. Uh, it's very cloak and dagger, uh, but I will be keeping your letter, uh, and uh, thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this one next, uh, just because it's right here within reach. This is from Anthony uh, Corrales. Uh, Anthony, thank you, and uh, I can tell uh, just from looking that there is some paper right here, so I'm pulling that out first. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Let's see. Ah, we have a letter. Uh, thank you, Anthony. And it looks like I will need the glasses for this. Uh, no problem. No problem. Professor Grandpa does not mind putting on his glasses to read the letter. It says, uh, Dear HCC788, that's me. I really enjoy your videos. Uh, thank you. I've always uh, been a fan of G.I. Joe. My brother and I would get them for our birthdays or Christmas. I've known about Action Force for some time now, but the first time uh, I was ever really introduced to it was your review. Oh, thank you. Um, I have enclosed two customs. Okay, more customs. I love customs. You guys who do customs do s some amazing work. Um, I've shown some of the customs that I've received on this show and some of them are just mind-blowing. I, I don't have the ability to do that, so I admire uh, the work that you guys put in. Uh, the Baron has a striking resemblance to Burt Reynolds. Yeah, good point. Uh, fabricated his Ned Kelly helmet. Uh, notice the five o'clock shadow that I painted uh, on the Major. Hope that you enjoy the action figures. Uh, okay, uh, Anthony, thank you. Now I'm really excited uh, to see what is in here. So let's uh, pull this out. And we well well wrapped, well packaged. Um, that's to ensure that it uh, doesn't get damaged by U.S. Postal Service. USPS has been a bit careless lately, so always got to be careful to package your stuff well. Um, all right, so we are like triple bubble wrapped here. Okay, um, and let's see if, if I have to cut some tape, I might. Oh no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Let's see. I'm opening this one first. I don't know which one it is, but I'm excited. I, I, I do love me some action force. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Okay. For you action force aficionado. Now I wish I hadn't worn a black shirt. I got to zoom in uh, and let you guys see this. This is a custom O-ring style black major from action force and that is amazing the details yeah the like the five o'clock shadow on there that i hope you can see um is incredible um the skull and crossbones i, I just gotta zoom in more than that because i i got you guys gotta see this um that that's just amazing amazing an o-ring style um black major um, with with a rifle and a backpack uh, awesome if now I wish I had worn a white shirt so I, you could see it a bit better against against my uh, my shirt there but um, that is awesome and now let me back this out a little bit more because I'm going to open the other one um, yeah I obviously um, I'm not from the UK uh, but I as a kid, I had a friend who went to live in the UK for about a year, um, and when he returned, uh, he told me about Action Force. Um, and I was curious, but for uh, a kid in the States at the time, with uh, no internet, um, there wasn't really much way to learn about foreign versions of G.I. Joe. So um, as an adult, it's um, it's kind of fascinated me, the different iterations of G.I. Joe that um, have been produced around the world. And Action Force in particular is a really interesting one. All right, so, all right, there we go. There we go, okay, we, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now this one actually you should be able to see against my black t-shirt. 
because this is none other than, yes, Baron Ironblood himself. Look at that. Okay, I gotta zoom in. While I'm zooming in, I'm gonna look at this figure myself. That is, again, an O-ring style, an O-ring style Baron Ironblood with, yes, with, with the, the helmet, that's and and his Uzi that he came with and uh, and the details um, that is just awesome. Let me put his helmet back on. That's amazing. Uh, well, uh, Anthony, I am all kinds of impressed by this. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, th these are just incredible. And um, thanks for taking the time to um, share a custom of Action Force. Um, I did enjoy doing the Action Force uh, video with uh, with Cyber Tiger. Uh, Cyber Tiger is a good friend of mine, um, and um, I, I feel like I, I want to do another Action Force video uh, because uh, there's still more to cover. But you know that will have to wait for some time in the future. I, I still need a, a few more pieces uh, if I'm going to do it right. I think. Uh, but, you know, I do have the Black Major and I have a Baron Ironblood, so these guys could sit right next to the original figures. That's, that's beautiful. Thank you, Anthony. Okay, now this one here, um, which is from Justin Luby. Uh, thank you, Justin. Uh, let's open this up. And right on top, we have an envelope. Uh, let's see what's in the envelope there. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's pull this out. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, in the envelope, we have file cards, a file card for Laser Viper and and Bla Backblast. Uh, so I, I believe I needed both of these file cards. I know I needed Backblast. Uh, so uh, awesome. Thank you. Stuff like this really helps me uh, get ready for reviews, helps me uh, get figures review ready. And we have a letter, and uh, we will need to break out the... Uh, the specs here, uh, and it says, uh, greetings hooded one, uh, greetings to you. Once again, thank you for your channel and information talking about uh, the goofy colors and characters of the 90s uh, Joes. It makes you appreciate the Joes that are realistic and colored for it. Uh, Backblast is one of those Joes in my opinion, except for the yellow ammo belt. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I haven't reviewed that figure yet, but uh, we'll look at it, we'll look at it. Um, and Laser Viper, I think it's the last decent Cobra they made. Uh, didn't know if you had these two, but would love to see a review of them both. I will get to them eventually. I, I will. Uh, thanks for the info and hard work. Uh, here till the end, uh, the Rock and Roll version 2 review. That is correct. Um, Jock Hardiron. <laughs> Jock Har Hardiron, his uh, special code name. Uh, P.S. Everyone needs a Chuck Norris Joe. All right. Thank you. Um, yes, um, I, I have said and I am maintaining that uh, the last review that I do on this channel will be Rock and Roll version 2. Once we're all done with the entire vintage run, uh, the last review will be second version of Rock and Roll because that was the last figure that I bought uh, as a young person. Uh, I did the first, my first review was Breaker. Uh, straight arm breaker because that was my first figure as a child so I thought it would be a nice bookend to finish with the last figure I bought as a child so yes that's what he means by staying till the end rock and roll version 2 um, alright so let's see what's in the box what's in the box um, yes oh well <laughs> there's a laser viper um, hold on um, yeah and, and backblast and all right, okay, cool. All right, I'm, one at a time, one at a time. Let's zoom it in a little bit so you can see. Um, so he's got Laser Viper here. Uh, that's why the file cards are there, because uh, these are the figures that he sent. Um, I just, I, I don't want to spill everything out. I just want to take the figure out for a second. Um, and a Laser Viper has some really nice colors. Uh, that is, I mean, at least color-wise, that's a nice figure. And uh, yeah, uh, helmet and the accessories are here too. Um, 
but uh, there's really nice looking laser viper looks gorgeous and then here we have backblast and uh, I, again a really good looking figure uh, kind of a crazy uh, super wide yellow ammunition belt um, he's got all of his accessories here as well this is a figure that um, I, I think it's gorgeous. Uh, it's a gorgeous figure. The accessories, we got to talk about those accessories. Some of these accessories are a little crazy, but the figure, really nice, really nice. Um, and there is one more in here, uh, and I see what he means by a Chuck Norris Joe. Uh, it's, uh, hold on, I got to take it out. Um, it's Outback's head, and I, I've said before, and I still believe Outback looks a lot like Chuck Norris. Uh, but he's like all geared up. It's like Outback that, that's actually combat ready with camouflage and uh, submachine gun and a shotgun and he's got Falcon's backpack. Um, that's that's really nice, dude. Um, that's really cool looking. Um, so that's awesome. So thank you very much. Justin, really nice figures. I really appreciate you sending these. Okay, I know who sent this box. Uh, this person is, was really excited uh, for me to get it. Uh, so I'm going to save it for last. I'm going to save that one for last. Uh, and I'm going to open this box uh, from Robert Monty, the full Monty, uh, and uh, see what we got here. Uh, and we have some paper on top. Uh, let's see what uh, is on the paper. Ah, we have a nicely typed letter uh, with a really amazing photograph behind it. One second. Let me uh, don the specs here. Um, and it says, Hey, HCC788. Hey. Uh, here are the two vintage G.I. Joes in mint shape. Uh, do 90s Joes count as vintage? Yes. In Technically, now, I'm not going to finish reading this letter. I'm going to read it to myself because the letter gives away what's in the box and I don't want to spoil the surprise for you guys. So I'm just going to take a minute to read this letter quietly to myself for a moment. Okay, Robert, uh, thank you for writing this. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, this is a, a, a photo of uh, a custom figure that he had made of, uh, of himself and it's it's really wicked awesome man um to answer a couple of your questions he asks if i intend to review the two packs uh that hasbro put out from 2002 i'm sorry 2000 to 2002 um and i know which ones you're talking about it's a little outside of my era but i wouldn't mind getting a few of them and maybe not necessarily doing a full review uh but i would like to look at a few of them because uh, some of them are really awesome uh, there are a few in particular I'd like to get my hands on. Um, I don't think, well, I don't have them yet, um, but I might pick them up at some point in the future. So th they may appear in uh, in a video at some time in the future. I don't have a specific plan to do it, but if I picked up the right pieces, I would definitely consider it. The, they are definitely worth talking about. Uh, so uh, thank you for this letter, um, and uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the stuff that I sent you. Um, so now let's see, let's see what's in the box, um, which I know what's in the box because I read the letter, but this is why I didn't read the letter out loud. Um, again, nicely packed, nicely packed, very well packed, nicely done. All right. Yeah, nothing's going to happen to these. All right. All right. Okay, so we got uh, tape on bubble wrap. Let's see if I'm going to cut the tape or can I just peel it off? Let's see. Uh, nearly got it. There we go. I knew I could do it. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, all right. This is his, um, yes, his, his custom patch with his logo on it and I mean tell me that's not awesome that's amazing um, really cool uh, I've got some patches now I need to do something with these patches that I've got I need a, I don't know a jacket or something to put them on uh, but that would be really cool on a jacket um, and here we have uh, yeah 1991 sky creeper let me zoom it in 1991 Skycreeper. 
I uh, should take it out of the bag, I guess. It does include his pistol. Uh, and yes, uh, Sky Creeper has, uh, I don't want to take the pistol out, has some pretty wild colors and like a, like a, a bicycle helmet. Um, a unique figure, unique. Um, and then, let's see, put Sky Creeper back. The other figure is one that I had been wanting to nail down for quite some time now. Um, and this is Tracker, uh, the Navy SEAL. Uh, there you go, Tracker, who is wearing what looks like sweatpants and sneakers. Um, let me zoom it in. Uh, it's, I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a rare figure, but it's one that I hadn't been able to track down at a decent price yet. Um, and it's, it's different, man. It's, it's definitely something to behold. Uh, so that's Tracker. Um, it does include his accessories, uh, and his accessories include one of the more unique ones in the entire line. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. Um, but it's, a it's an inflatable rubber raft. Um, I will not un, uh, unfold uh, this right now, but yeah, it's all there. I just need the file card and then uh, tracker will be ready and complete. So uh, thank you, uh, the full Monty, uh, for, uh, for this. And thank you very much for the awesome custom patch. All right, Chris, it's time to open yours. This was all a big plot of mine to make you watch till the end of the video. So this is from Chris Pierce. Chris from the YouTube show Comic Tropes uh, has a great YouTube channel. Uh, I follow him very closely, and he's been a friend of the channel for a while. Uh, I really appreciate uh, Chris's uh, friendship uh, and the work that he produces. And he sent this, me this box, and he's been really excited about me getting it. So I'm going to open it now and see uh, what's in it. And we do have uh, a letter on some very nice glossy paper. Uh, so let's... Uh, Let's break out the peepers here and uh, see what we have. It says, uh, this package started something smaller and grew out of control. Out of control. I don't know uh, exactly why it's so much fun to donate G.I. Joe's stuff to you, but it is. Well, th thank you. Thank you. Uh, maybe it's because it will eventually be reviewed, or maybe it's just nice to give back to someone who provides so much entertainment. Well, um, thank you. I'm glad that you are entertained. Sometimes I wonder if it's um, like collecting for myself, but without the responsibility of putting it all somewhere. Good point, because then I get to put it somewhere. But that's okay, that's okay. Um, I want to, you to know that I really enjoy your show. It's been a pleasure and privilege getting to know you. Thank you, and thank you. And enclosed you will find, I'm not gonna read what is enclosed. Uh, hope this is fun and no clutter. Keep up the great work, your friend Chris. Uh, so that's the letter. I'm not going to read the part that um, that uh, includes what's in the box. In fact, I'm not going to look at. I, I didn't. I purposely didn't look at it very closely because I want to be surprised. I didn't read that part. Uh, so now, let's see what's in the box. Let's see. Uh, we have uh, a target bag. Uh, so. Just slide the box out of the way. A little extra, uh, extra padding there. Uh, and let's see, what's this? Um, let's start with. Oh, cool! Yes, we have a a Japanese uh, GI Joe shirt. Check that out. Uh, come on, zoom in, zoom in. Well, it helps if I push the right button. There we go. Uh, yeah, check that out. Um, I, I got it. Hold on, I got it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not keeping it sealed in the bag. Um, my apologies. I know I just dropped the resale value of it. But uh, no, look, you, ha you just have to see. It's, uh, it's G.I. Joe Japanese version uh, in camo, nice camouflage. Uh, that is awesome. Okay, we're starting out really well, starting out really good. Uh, thank you. Uh, and let me back up a little bit again. And then we have a card figure, it's Payload. Uh, Payload Star Brigade, I want to say, was this 93 or 94? I don't remember. This is fascinating. Um, I don't have a lot of these Star Brigade figures. This one is still sealed on the card. Um, and one thing that I see that is interesting right away is the, uh, the figure 
that that is in the bubble it does not match the figure that's on the file card. I like the, the photograph is totally different. I'm going to enjoy uh, looking at this. So uh, thank you for Payload. Very unique looking guy from Star Brigade. Uh, and now uh, we have, oh yeah, we have some G.I. Joe trading card packs. Um, in a minute, uh, I'm going to open these because I always want to see if I get a stalker. Um, and then, um, oh, and Countdown. So hey, yeah, we got we got payload, we got countdown, we got GI Joe in space. Uh, this looks to be complete with file card, which is really nice because of course I need the file cards for reviews, and a lot of uh, sellers uh, neglect to include the file card. A lot of collectors consider the uh, figure to be complete without the file card. But of course, I need it, so it's really nice to get the figure with the file card. Um, and there is more in here. Let's see, I think I got it upside down here. Oh, yes. Oh, check this out. Uh, the Secret of the Mummy's Tomb. This is a G.I. Joe Adventure Team. This is a G.I. Joe Adventure Team book and record. Um, and that's this is a bit of G.I. Joe history right here. Before Marvel Comics, before Larry Hama, before Real American Hero, uh, this was G.I. Joe Media. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to read this. I mean, not right now, uh, but I am actually going to read this because I'm really curious um, what kind of media, what kind of story they produced for uh, for Adventure Team back in the '70s. So this is awesome. Uh, everything's really awesome so far. Uh, and let's see here. Let's some more cards, and I see, I see what's in here. Um, all right, this is this is exciting. This is exciting. Uh, so we have some artwork. Yeah, some uh, original artwork. And you guys recognize this? Do you guys recognize this? What about? Let's see. Do you, do you recognize this here? What about this one? Um, a few times, um, Chris has done artwork uh, for the title cards on my videos, and um, these are the originals. Uh, and look, look at that. These are the originals of the artwork from my title cards, and that is incredible. That is amazing. I am holding them in my hand. I never thought I'd actually see these in person. Um, and it's so impressive in person. The, the coloring on that, gorgeous. Uh, the Cobra Asp. Um, Dr. Mindbender. Dr. Mindbender. Python Patrol uh, Conquest. Uh, just, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. That is wonderful and I will cherish these. Thank you very much, Chris. And I am going to open these cards, by the way. I'm just gonna rip them open. I'll stop as soon as I get a Stalker. Uh, you know, Stalker is my favorite character, so uh, I'm always curious if I'll get a Stalker in one of these. And wasn't this kind of the fun of collecting cards back then? Is You didn't know what you were gonna get, and so there's a little bit of excitement opening a fresh pack like this and seeing, seeing what's in here. Are you going to get doubles? Are you going to get something rare? Are you going to get something special that you uh, that you wanted? There's a card for Rolling Thunder, uh, for Roadblock, uh, Major Altitude, uh, some comic book covers, Grand Slam comic book covers, uh, Outback, uh, and Deep Six. Okay, no Stalker in this one. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Uh, maybe I should keep these sealed. You know, maybe I should. You think? You think? It's too late for this one. It's too late for this one. It's open. It's open. And let's see what we got. Uh, we got Heavy Duty. We got uh, comic book cover. We got the uh, Hal uh, comic book cover. Uh, Hall of Fame. Are these okay, upside down. Wetsuit, Bazooka, Dial Tone, Zap, Targat, and the Badger. No Stalker yet. No Stalker yet. Um, Let's let's give uh, another heart attack to uh, collectors of sealed items as we open another one. I hope we get a stalker soon. 
because um, I might have to open every single one of these. Uh, oh yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got a comic book cover. We got uh, Paralyzer, Snowcat, Televiper, uh, Night Vulture comic book cover, um, Honor Roll, Hawk comic book cover, Avalanche, uh, and Fast Draw. No, no Stalker yet. No Stalker yet. Um, I, I, and it's not to say I don't have a Stalker card. I actually do have a Stalker card. Um, but uh, I kind of like to find another one. I kind of like to get lucky here. I'd like to like to open one of these and uh, find my favorite guy in it. Let's let's do it. Let's let's just keep going until we get one. Uh, see, we got this one, and then we got one more. We got two more chances to get a stalker. We got an outback and a deep six, so we got doubles of those. We got zap. Oh, there he is. There he is. There. My favorite character in G.I. Joe, it's Stalker. Stalker's the man. And you know what that means? That means this one. I didn't have to open this one. This one can stay sealed. Sealed forever. Saved by Stalker being in the one I opened before. So thank you everyone who sent stuff in. And thanks, even if you don't send things in, thank you. Uh, for just watching the videos. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me that you are here, that you're going on this journey with me, um, and I, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, you should never feel like you have to send anything to me. I'm just happy to have you here. Um, again, if you do send something to me, I will put it in a vid video like this one, uh, and uh, I will express my appreciation to you because I am very grateful. You guys don't have to do this. Uh, and so, and I, I, I know that, I acknowledge that, and uh, I'm grateful for you guys just going the extra mile and doing something a little special. And uh, if you do want to donate to the channel, uh, the address will be on your screen right now. Um, and uh, yeah, if I get more stuff uh, in the next month, I'll do another video like this. And if I don't, then I won't, and that'll be fine. Um, in the meantime, don't forget Timmer's Charity Drive. Uh, donate to a charity that benefits children, uh, send proof of your donation to this email address, and you can be in a drawing and perhaps win some special prizes. We're getting close to the holiday season, and it's my favorite time of the year, so um, I, I'm really excited about the stuff that's coming up. Uh, I'm working on new reviews right now, working on new videos. Um, and so I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, but that's a wrap for another month of donation unboxings. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you soon for another vintage G.I. Joe toy review. Until that time, always remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.